Granny got lost in the city, got lost in the city lights. Lads, thank you so much for coming and having a chat with us. Massive yeah. day for you. Yeah. Yes. Literally how long now till you actually sign the deal with Sony, which is amazing. But it's like an hour? Yeah, we're just about to sign uh, our first record deal with Sony. Yeah, we're delighted, you know, it's um it's it's obviously not the be all and an end all yeah. what every band is looking for from the start, but uh, it's it's absolutely brilliant to get the acknowledgement. One too many cracks in the mirror and one too many sins. Does that mean that you guys get back into the studio now, or are you back writing? Where does that go from here? Is that kind of we just released a single called Jenny and a video, so I'm um, just going to uh, tour that for the next few weeks. We've got a, a full a month of tour ahead of us in Ireland, uh, in, in Dublin, we're in Greenlands for a couple of nights. The summer then is studio uh, writing, recording, and then you know further releases hopefully. And, and is it the touring that you love? Is it the in the studio? Where do you feel most at home? Um, uh, it's a little bit of everything. Like I found, like since signing the deal, I've way more friends. That's kind of, <laughs> it's been Very the biggest funny. plus for me. Like all of a sudden. There's a great buzz when we're together and we're practicing and maybe when we write and something has really come together that we all immediately kind of go, right, that's really good. Obviously, does that add any more pressure to you guys now with releasing stuff? Because you've got a little bit more, uh, I guess, more eyes on it. Um, we're not under massive pressure, but I mean, to be honest, as soon as you write something, you're trying to better it immediately and you're trying to do something um, that's going to impress people in a different way. So it's a never-ending cycle. Mm -hmm. You're never fully there, you know. I've been told as well, one of you has an amazing tattoo in homage <laughs> to oh, oh, oh. Amazing? Brian O'Driscoll, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this story, because I love tattoos. So uh, we were in Vancouver last year, and um, it was the <laughs> it was the last day of the of our tour, and it was the last day of Ireland's Six Nations Championship against France, and uh, Trico's last game, and um, I made a bet with my mate that if Ireland won and he, I think, got man of the match, that I'd get it tattoo the number 13 on my back. So he was like, man, you should, you should get it bigger and you should get it in red. So I ended up with a massive 13 on my back. Amazing. And you don't just play music on the stage, you also propose on the stage, which is absolutely amazing. Obviously it was huge. And the wedding's obviously happened out this day, isn't it? It was last July. Who was yeah. the best man? How did you choose that? Um, none of them. None of them, actually, yeah. <laughs> I got them, I got them to play. <laughs> awesome, well, uh, I won't let you anymore because you've got the deal to sign, so thank you so much, lads. Cheers, awesome. Pleasure. Pleasure.